If you're looking for an easy way to infuse your linear patterns with a nice variation, then you've clicked on the right video because this is how you create a simple linear variation. If you like that, subscribe to the channel because I make a new one every week. I've been teaching people how to play the drums for 23 years now, and I can show you too. I'm Gabriel, and you're watching the YouTube channel of DrumTipTuesday.com. So, four steps in doing this. Step number one, you need to create a linear sequence. Let's take this one, real easy. Kick, right, left. Do that again. Kick, right, left. Then right, right, left, left. Then do that simple three-step kick, right, left two more times. So in total, kick, right, left, kick, right, left, right, right, left, left, kick, right, left, kick, right, left. It's easier when you see me play it on the drums. Check it out. Step number two is to take that sequence and put it into some sort of time. Let's take, oh, I don't know, 16th notes in 4-4 time like this. Now you can see that they are grouped in four sets of four 16th notes representing 4-4 time. Let's turn on a metronome and listen to it that way. Step number three, voicing to create a groove. You already got the right foot on the kick drum. That's gonna stay right there, obviously. Gonna take the right hand, move it to the hi-hat. Gonna take the left hand, it's gonna stay on the snare drum, but with some very specific instructions. First of all, we haven't been using, on the, using the snares. Uh, turn the snares on, right? It's a snare drum, turn on the snares. Next thing, when you see the accent, and there is an accent on the E of two, and there's an accent on the downbeat of four. You're gonna make sure that you play the accent strong, and then the unaccented notes on the snare drum go strokes. That's how you play that. Take a listen. And before we get on to uh, the final step, I'm curious, who's everybody's favorite fusion drummer? Comment below. No wrong answer here, just curious. And finally, step four, gonna make a drum fill out of this thing. Gonna keep the hands and the feet moving in the same pattern, except now we're just gonna take a few liberties with moving the right handle around, and we're gonna remove one of the accents, and then we're gonna stop a little bit early, just to make some space, make it sound more like a drum fill, make it even a little easier. Speaking of easy, just gonna keep the hands exactly where they were up until the and of beat two. The and of beat two, that first double, that right, right, left, left, that right, right, we're gonna put that on the first tom. We are going to then take the last 16th note of beat three with the right hand, it's in the pattern, it's not doing anything different, just moving it to the floor tom, right? Gonna move it to the floor tom. Then the kick drum note after the backbeat on four, the E, if you will, of beat four, we're going to stop right there. Let's take a listen.
If you'd like to see how this, as well as any other simple linear sequence, can be used in an endless number of ways, you can see that at drumtiptuesday.com, as well as master classes, drum list tracks, in-depth course study, and much more. Until then, like, subscribe, and check out one of these videos next.